What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 17 of On Shape. Specifically, what we're making is we're making a key today. I was cleaning out my classroom and I ran across these and thought these would be wonderful as a kind of introductory. What do we need, what do we make next, but not get too crazy with it? And I was looking at the key and had a lot of interesting shapes, and so I created one pretty quickly, uh, not step by step for an exact key, but something that maybe students could use as a reference for the keys they're making in the classroom. Hopefully they make, make some measurements or at least look at the profiles and then try to match those profiles. So let's go ahead and try to make this shape again. So what I'm gonna do is create part studio and this key I'm making is not is gonna be to visual scale, it's not gonna be actual scale. Uh, just for the sake of time, I'm not going to input any dimensions on uh, some of these shapes I'm making. So I'm gonna click on sketch, I'm gonna click on front, front plane, and then, not click on check mark, but let's go ahead and make just that overall side profile. I'm gonna go ahead and make some circles here. We're gonna do one outside, one inside, uh, just to get our overall head profile. And then I'm gonna do some interesting things with predictive geometry. So I'm gonna go to this center of this circle right here and just go straight out as long as the neck of that key is going to be and this is gonna be helpful on uh, those other parts of the key I'm making. And so let's hit L for line, and let's have a nice tapered edge inwards, go straight, and then click there. Now let's go ahead and do some other really cool things. One, let's do the mirror function within Sketch. I'm gonna click on mirror, click on select a mirror line. We're gonna use that line we just drew as a reference, and we're gonna repeat this geometry and that geometry and just mirror that perfectly good and well. Okay, that's looking good so far. Next thing we're gonna do is let's add a little bit of our tooth geometry in there as well. So I'm gonna escape on my keyboard and hit L for line. Let's go ahead and just draw some simple geometry in there for the teeth of our key. Like I said, your key is gonna look a little bit different and I'm kind of doing this quickly just for the sake of this video. But um, that profile, let's call that what that looks like right there. You might have to do some rounded edges, you might have to, depending on what your key is looking like. But let's go ahead and just hit a green check mark on that and then let's extrude this shape. So I'm gonna click extrude, click on the profiles I want. And that is already looking pretty good. The thickness of the key, let's go ahead and make it an eighth of an inch. Let's do zero or 1.25. And we're looking good so far. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is talk about is these work planes right here and kind of some of those interesting things we run into. And so what I have right here is I have a, this right work plane is going through my key right here. But it's, the problem is that plane isn't exactly where I want to start my bevel or my cutouts for those keyhole slots. So what I'm going to do is hit right click and hit offset plane. And I'm going to offset this plane to be just where I need those slots to start. Hit the green check mark and we're looking okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and take all my other work planes and just make them invisible so that way they're not in my way. And let's now uh, cut in our side grooves for our key. So if I right click and hit uh, view normal 2, the key is in my way. I actually have a hard time predicting uh, and drawing lines of this that I need. So I'm going to right click and then hit section view. And what this is going to do is this is going to create a section view of my key that allows me to work with what I want to work with. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Let's hit L on our keyboard, actually sketch on this plane. And then now let's draw in our keyholes right here. I'm just going to draw some simple rectangles in That way I can do those little side cutouts. One thing I want to notice about is I'm going to go ahead and take this part and make it invisible. 
is that you can see some predictive uh, geometry going on that this is you know horizontal with this line uh, sometimes it's helpful sometimes it's not but I'm going to use that in this case to just draw another rectangle that is similar in height that way my keyholes look about the same okay ran into a little problem is that I didn't go over far enough so I'm just going to go ahead and trim that on up okay I'll scroll on down and let's do the same thing down here so I'm going to do is just very quickly just draw some lines and this side profile is going to look different based off of what you're doing and what your key looks like or you can just go with a generic key over we got here okay looks good like I said um, the overhangs all right I'm not going for specific dimensions I'm just going for that side profile cutout look all right hit the green check mark and then we're done and the problem is is that the section view is still active so once I'm done with that section we may right click and turn a section view off and now I have my sketch that is in the middle if we can see it of my key right here so what this allows me to do now is extrude that sketch we're going to extrude make our part invisible so we can click on these profiles that we want but when I make this part visible we don't want them to be ads we're going to do removes we're going to click on remove flip the type bring this all the way down and we just cut out the side grooves for our keyhole um, I don't like the height of those uh, those top squares right here so let's talk about how do we make edits and that green check mark and let's go back to the sketch I'm going to double click on this sketch right click hit view normal sketch plane all right and I'm just going to draw a line all the way across and then hit escape find this little trim tool and just cut out those pieces I do not need okay hit the green check mark now the problem is is that that extrusion needs to be re-established so I click on this extrusion and we want to reselect those entities so let's do that one, two, three, four. Make that part visible again, and that's looking a little bit better. Hit the green check mark, and our key is looking a whole lot better all of a sudden. Now we could go into talking about uh, how do we do some other features in there. I think at this point you can make the rest of your key look real realistic. There is one thing um, that I'm going to hit on is this chamfer is I'm going to hit chamfer and then I'm going to select those edges that are beveled on my key slot. So these usually have a tapered in bevel going outwards. And then so does these teeth right here. And so what we're going to do is we're also going to make that a very small distance. So 0 0.05 and then that is that going to be okay might be too much i'm doing too many at one time 0.2 there we go those back ones look better now so we can see that there's a nice little bevel to them let's go ahead and now work on these front ones right here since it's a lot smaller i'm gonna have to do a much smaller chamfer so let's go ahead and just chamfer this whole face. What's that going to do for us? No. Let's just do these pieces then. Let's do 0 0.05. No, I'm going to hit make that key just a little bit too small for that profile. So let's just chamfer these larger pieces right here. And that looks a little bit better wonderful so like I said this since it's not made to dimension I'm, I did expect to run into some problems there 
Anytime you try to do a chamfer or something that doesn't like, it'll usually highlight as red, and so I just knew something was up. Okay, that is looking good so far. So we got a bevel on the back side, we got a bevel on the front of our key, but if you notice, there's also a bevel usually on the top of the key. So we're gonna go ahead and bump these side, two sides as well. Let's go ahead and do the inside of that key. And we can continue all the way around to make our key look a little bit more realistic, but I think at this point, you should be in a good spot to continue to make small edits as necessary. All right, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. This video is pretty in-depth, and we looked at some things, um, some building some more of those skills that we've talked about so far. Uh, as soon, at some point, we're going to start building things more geared towards the automatas and looking at things like that, so make sure you're holding on tight and uh, understand we're doing uh, every step of the way. Because once you start doing assemblies, um, I'm going to be throwing a lot of commands at you really quickly. Okay, guys, if you need questions, comments, concerns, Feel free to throw them down in the comment section. Please like and subscribe to this video. It helps me out a whole lot. That way I know who's watching and uh, where you're watching from. Okay, guys, take care, and I'll see you on the next video.